Hello everyone, this is Rahul Bawar and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to see an another interview scenario or rather I would say like interview task that was given to one of our subscriber. And see, the question need not be a straightforward technical question or, you know, uh, some scenario directly. So these days what is happening is even when you are, you know, changing project within the organization or when you are on bench you know you might be getting some assignments to complete so based on that they will be judging you how good you are like your dashboard formatting techniques all that so for that you will get questions like this that the way you are seeing on the screen so here uh, the questions were clearly written like this so filter the data to show only for 2020 data and filter to show Jan to May data only. Recreate a line chart using sales measure. And fourth point is create a parameter called select month. And it should display the sales and label for the selected month only. So this was the requirement. Now here four points that we have. So we need to make sure we are following these four points and we are representing or we are following all of these conditions so i think it is very straightforward you know question i think uh, you know i'm expecting all of you can do uh, so but still i want to show it for those who you know who wants to see so i'm simply taking order date here and i'm just taking it with respect to month because month uh, why is the sales he wanted and I'm filtering it for one year, like said, and it is for 2020. Now, uh, before we actually take sales, I'm creating a parameter here, like he said, and here I'm writing it as select month or uh, select. Okay. And uh, you can take whatever you want, integer format or string format, but I'm taking integer format. And for now, I'm writing few months only three four you can write all the months in real time you need to write all but here i'm displaying it as january again it is up to you whether you want to pass a string value or a uh, integer value but because integer works faster compared to string i'm taking string here but just displaying it as a string here okay but my actual value is this okay click on okay and I'm just showing the value here. So we have January, February, March, April. Now we need to display the sales for the selected month here. That is the requirement here, simple. Okay, so we just simply need to create a calculated field here. Okay, and uh, I'm writing it as date filter. Okay, and my month of order date i'm just checking what is that we are getting here from this click on apply so it's i'm just converting that into a dimension here and if i drop it into filter shelf to check so 1 to 12 we are getting okay so i'm simply taking month of order date is equal to select month that's it okay click on apply and okay so i'm taking this filter that we have created and I'm dropping it on filter shelf and making it true. And I'm just taking sales. Okay, so that is how it shows. So based on the month that we are selecting, it is displaying the sales for that. See here, we are getting the value. for February. If I select March, it is for March. So all of our values are matching here. And that is what the requirement here is. Okay. So that's it from my side in this video. I hope you liked it. If you like it, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll paste the link of this document in the description box. You can take and you can practice it. See you in the next video. And till then, bye-bye.